pulling your camper out after a winter storage it's always good to inspect the fifth wheel before you put her back on the road so what I'm gonna look at here is in our swivel and and we built this because we go off-road a lot and this helps uh, dramatically with the twisty stuff lets the, the truck and the camper move so that that all seems fine it, it, it's perfectly tight the hitch pin is is okay it's got a touch of a flat spot in the back but you'd expect that with with nearly 20 years of towing and then if you haven't treated yourself to a nylon pad you really should do so now it does appear that I probably should replace this because not only is it buckling which might hook when I uh, catch when I hick up but it's also cracking along in here so everything up there looks fine what about the hitch itself here we have the hitch pin eye view. So this is where your hitch pin would go. And right back here, for lack of a better term, we'll call it the trigger. And as your trailer bumps in back here, it activates the, the sliding bar. And that, of course, is what actually holds your trailer together. Now, you might see that after a few years, these two become a little sticky. So my recommendation is with the chitch actually closed, put a little bit of grease right here and then open her up and flip it over if you can. Now you have the inside workings of the hitch itself. So this cog wheel here is attached to your handle and that's what pulls back the pin. This back up in here this in here that's that trigger mechanism I talked about and so I can I can trip it by pulling it right there. You want to look at all this make sure your springs are tight do not run it if, if you need new springs they're cheap don't get them at the camper store get them at the hardware store and I would recommend a blob of grease right here, a blob of grease down here uh, on the actual teeth, and then some grease back here behind the bar. And so just a, a few drops of grease took my hitch from being kind of a sticky pain in the butt to working flawlessly again. As far as the rest of the stuff you might see here, that's a, a limiting switch. Um, that would tell you inside the truck cab if your hitch wasn't locked. Uh, it did work. I don't know how necessary it was. It, it did work. It worked right up until I got a puppy. And once I got a puppy, well, that's where the wires stop. So, oops. While you're down here, look at the load-bearing surfaces of your hitch. This one you can see is getting really pretty rusted but I don't see any cracking on the welds. I don't see any cracking on any of the gussets. This would be considered a 10,000 pound hitch. So if you have an eight or a 15, they're gonna be slightly different. Happy towing.